Okay, this is Ian Kilborn at St. Lawrence College Energy Systems Engineering Technology Program. This is a little video on how to use uh, a method called the train track method for doing unit conversions. It's pretty simple to do if you have just a basic conversion like centimeters to miles. There's another video on uh, how to do those simple ones. Mostly we can look up a conversion factor for those. We might use online tools or on our smartphones we may have uh, unit conversion uh, utilities that can handle those, uh, those one-step conversions. Um, once things get a little bit more complicated than that, however, um, we can really get lost um, or if we have conversions that uh, involve things that just aren't on those uh, on those tools. So uh, I'm going to do uh, one or two examples for you here on how to use the train track tool. So let's say that we're traveling in the United States and we are looking at, uh, at gas prices as we drive around and we see that uh, gas is costing uh, three dollars and fifty cents and that is going to be the units here of course will be US dollars um, and they sell gas in gallons um, and it is a US gallon just to be clear um, and so what we'd like to know is well how much is that equivalent to back home um, and so we're going to draw the train tracks here I usually sort of start with a double line and then a line here where I'm going to build up some conversions and then I'll have another double line here at the end. Um, and down here at the after this double line we're going to write the units that we're trying to get towards um, and so we are trying to get towards Canadian dollars and per uh, per liter because that's how our gas is priced of course and so we'd like to know what is 350 US per gallon uh, worth equivalent to in Canadian dollars per liter. So we've got two jobs here. We've got to convert the US to Canadian and we've got to convert the gallons, US gallons to liters. And we've got to get these two conversion factors the right way up. We, we all know what the conversion factors are and that there's two of them involved. Uh, the trick is to get them the right way up so that you're not uh, making mistakes. So we're going to use the train track method here and cancel things out. So I want to get Canadian dollars over here so um, I'm going to put um, Canadian dollars here. Now I've got US dollars there that's what I want to cancel out so I'm going to put US dollars on the bottom and now I have to put my equivalency so what is one Canadian dollar worth in US or the other way around? Well if I have one Canadian dollar uh, right now I know that that will buy me uh, 90 cents worth of US dollars or 0.9 uh, of a US dollar so that's the uh, the ratio right now and so that looks after my first conversion factor um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able now to cancel units so I can cancel my US dollars here, US dollars here and I'm left with Canadian dollars on the numerator on the top uh, which is what I want. Next thing I'm going to do of course is look after the gallons to liters problem so I've got US gallons on the bottom I want to get rid of that so I'm going to write US gallons on the top. What am I looking for on the bottom? I'm looking for liters and so what is my equivalency here? Well this I might have to look up but uh, the truth is that one US gallon is worth 3.79 liters. In other words there's 3.79 liters in a US gallon. Um, when you're writing things here the top always has to be equivalent to the bottom. So we wouldn't write 3.79 US gallons and one liter because those two things are not equivalent. What's equivalent um, is one US gallon is equivalent to 3.79 liters. Um, and I'll just finish uh, my cancellation here. So US gallons, US gallons cancel out. What am I left with? I'm left with dollars Canadian per liter. Perfect. Uh, that's what I wanted. So here we go with the math and I'm doing this kind of slower and more carefully than uh, you will do once you get experienced with it of course. So 350 and I'm going to multiply by 
everything that I just did here, these conversion factors, and sometimes you're going to have real numbers on the top, and sometimes you're going to have ones, so I'll just do it real careful here. That on the top here we have 1 times 1, and on the bottom here we have 0 0.9 times 3.79. So that then is our conversion factor. And so that is 3.350 times if I was to calculate that out, that would be 3.41, um, which of course is the same as saying 350 divided by 3.41. And now the answer we've all been waiting for, um, 350 US is equivalent to a dollar and two cents dollars per liter and dollars Canadian.